Yeah, on our side, the power generation business has very limited impact from uh, the corona situation. Of course, we see muted power demand, but usually our positions are hedged very well in advance, and that is uh, why we have seen so far very limited impact. For our side, I mean, the corona situation is more um, challenging on the operational side. I mean, we have to ensure security of supply, so the health and safety of our workforce is of top priority, and we have taken very early preemptive measures to ensure that our people stay uh, safe and that we are able in all conditions to uh, provide power. Is it fair to say the longer this crisis goes on, the more impact you may see? You mentioned some of those long transaction times in terms of contracts, but uh, this is a crisis that's not going away anytime soon. So could there be implications down the track when it comes to pricing? Yeah, I would say, I mean, if, if the crisis develops further, um, as we currently see it, and maybe um, the measures taken by the government show action and uh, we maybe plateau or even see decreasing cases all over the world, then economic activity should recover over time. So that would see also a limited effect on our business because we are hatched for a couple of years. Of course, if for whatever reason and we are here in uncharted territory, uh, the crisis um, gets much more severe potentially in, in after the summer break, and uh, the consequences are not foreseen yet, then it might have also an effect longer term. But as I said, I mean, it's not so much an economic effect on the company. It's more the operational challenge to keep power generation up in any circumstances, which is very important as part of the critical infrastructure. So the only more long-term impact we see is, of course, we have some minor disruptions in our supply chain. So especially on the renewable build outside, um, we have supply chain disruptions, which causes some delays with some of our projects.